in the meme stock uh, land this morning, but it's, it's not even 9 o'clock yet after last week's volatility. We're only seeing some single-digit percentage moves in the biggest names. And the end of trading uh, Friday, at the end of trading Friday, AMC was up 80% on the week. Joining us now to talk about the springtime return of the retail investor crowd is Thomas Petterfeet, founder and chairman of Interactive Brokers. Do you, do you welcome uh, what we've seen on the retail side of things? Thomas, we've gone back and forth with a lot of different uh, people on this, the democratization of, of stock investing or the gamification of stock investing. Well, you know, I, I worry about my customers, those of, uh, those of them who are long these stocks. But, of course, um, interactive brokers, tend, uh, customers tend to be financially more sophisticated. So of the 1.2 million, 1.4 million customers we have, uh, their average account size is about $250,000. So less than 2% of our customers are involved in these meme stocks. Uh, so as long um, the, the longs on the average have about fifty to a hundred thousand dollars invested in in these stocks and uh, the shorts uh, have about twice as much. Uh, but of course both sides probably start at much lower levels. Uh, so I, I just want to make sure that people always understand that that the accounts must be margin compliant at all times. And if they are not, we will take immediate action and, and liquidate uh, the positions up until the, the uh, account becomes margin compliant. So, uh, you know, the, the, the fact is that on the long term, stocks always approach their fundamental values, which in these cases is much, much lower. Uh, so while it is extremely tempting to short these stocks, uh, but uh, unless you have uh, huge uh, liquid resources, please try to resist the temptation uh, because these prices can go to unimaginable heights before they settle down to a, to a reasonable valuation. And you may have to cover on the, on the height uh, on the, on the height point and, and uh, if, if you do not have enough money to, to shoulder the margin calls. I, Thomas, I might be offended, I think, if, if I were a Reddit <laughs> trader or, or, or one of the... So you're saying you have sophisticated uh, investors. They have a, more money than the average investor, I guess $250,000, but only 2% are playing in the meme arena. That sounds like you're saying that that, that consists mostly of unsophisticated Traders, was that your intention to, to imply that? Well, <laughs> look, I mean, no, the, the shorts are certainly, uh, <laughs> I would think, are the more sophisticated ones than the longs. Uh, but look, I mean, eventually these stocks will go back to their value, which is roughly maybe single digit dollars, if even that. And uh, so on the long run, the longs will lose their money. So if I, uh, while, you, while you may uh, try to catch a, a, a sudden drift upward as a trader, I, I would recommend against being hey, on these stocks. All right. So uh, I'll just mention one thing, and that is this piece in the journal today that, you know, we, we, uh, we use the term diamond hands all the time. And they, they talk about one GameStop loyalist. I mean, he bought on the highs. $349 a share, right? well, like way back in January. Then when it went all the way down, he bought on the way down as well and held it all the way to where it's back up here. These people, at least at this point, may never sell, Thomas. So, so how, does the, how do these stocks ever get back? It could take much longer, in other words, to get back to what you see as the fundamental value that, that stocks eventually return to. But, I mean, it, it's a whole new dynamic, the way that the, the buy and hold is going with some of the yes but i mean if you're willing to sit there and hold the stock at two three hundred four hundred dollars a share that keeps making no money i mean eventually uh, you know the <laughs> these companies can't it's impossible that that uh, these uh prices can hold up at that level 
because more and more people will short them. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.